three. And over here is where we're going to be launching our rockets from. So, yeah. And it has some resources. A uh, kimberlite ore, which is nice. And we're gonna need, but that's not why we're here. We are here to set up these bad boys, the vertical launching silos. And this is not enough. I did a bit of math. Uh, so if we take a look at, the, at this, it has a launch speed of five a minute. So that means that one of these launches one every 12 seconds. We wanted to launch 10 a second. That's not going to be possible. Um, because if we want to launch 10 a second, we need 1,440 of these buildings. And each of them takes 100 or 18 megawatts when active, 60 kilowatts when idle. So if we were launching 10 a second, that means that would mean that uh, 10 of these would be active at all times, meaning 180 megawatts, which isn't too bad. Uh, but then we would have the 1430 that are idle, consuming 60 kilowatts each. That's a lot of power. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to set up uh, I think 120 of these, which means we'll launch 10 every 12 seconds. So what if we did 120, 132, 144? 144 would mean one a second. So 144 of these we want to set up. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's see, where do we want our transportation? And of course, before we can start launching anything, uh, we need some power here. So, we'll stick one down here. Now... Of course, uh, they can launch from anywhere. Actually, I think... The other pole might be better. Let's head to the other pole. There's the Kimberlite vein. Alright, so... There. Okay, so in here, we are going to want these, we're going to want uh, warpers, actually, warpers go down here. Five hundred local supply, remote demand, and we'll do that. No, no, no. Uh, never mind. Uh, actually, I'll take those again. How many do I have in my thing? Not that many. Let's fill up there. Okay. And I think maybe we'll want these guys here as well. So we're going to need a power pole. Actually, you know what? Let's place the power pole on the line here. Uh, so, we're going to have to get power from deuterium for starters, I think. 
So we want deuterium fuel rods and we'll take 2,000. 2,000. And I'm actually surprised that we have that many because we were running out. So I had to fly back to Iota Buddhist and increase the number of, uh, of these that we were making. And I don't want 10,000 of those. Let's just do, let's just do 100. So how are we gonna do power? Um, it seems like there's a lot of resources right at the equator. That's not too bad. Where's the Kimberlite vein? It's there. So, so let, let's take a look at these things. They are huge. Look at them. You have They're built gigantic. a vertical launching silo. Now you can use it to construct the main structure of the Dyson Sphere. But before that, you need to enter the Dyson Sphere panel to finish planning the Dyson Sphere nodes and frames. After the plan is completed, the vertical launching silo will automatically launch small carrier rockets loaded with Dyson Sphere components to build the nodes and frames. Each rocket provides one structure point, and you can use the vertical launching silo panel to master the required structured points. Okay. Thank you. So these things are huge. Gigantic. And they have... Ooh, I wonder, is this... Do they need... Um, oh, crap. Uh, okay. So they need to have... We're going to need belts. Where are the belts? Let's get 2,000. Uh, let's, mm, let's not do these here. We'll do sorters instead. Storage. Okay. So we have our deuterium fuel rods now, which is nice. We have some space warpers. Okay. So I think what we'll do. So we'll set up these up here. Mm. We'll start at this. You're just not in the center, are you? Man, that sucks. Alright, you know what? Uh, let's do uh, storage. Uh, sure, get that stuff in there. Uh, I want I want this to be in the center, so I'm gonna stick one of these down here, and then I'm gonna run all of the items that we're getting. God damn, you're annoying. Stop it! Okay, and that's fine. Uh, you are not going to be remote demand. You are not going to be remote demand. 
Uh, you are not going to be remote demand. You are not going to be remote demand. Okay, because this needs to be fixed. Tell you to be uh, these guys, these guys, these guys, uh, deuterium fuel rods, and uh, space warpers, and they'll all just be storage. Because this is a temporary thing. Alright, so this can now be changed to the two and fuel rods. Let's get those out. This can now be changed to uh, belts. Let's get those out. Come on. Get them out faster, please. Okay, almost there. Almost there. And you know what? I'll just do this. Bang. And then you can be changed to Space Warper. And we'll grab those as well. Oh. I want to get the space warper over there. Get it over there. You can do it. I have faith in you. Almost. Almost. go. Let's grab those. Let's grab... Uh, that's fine. Alright, so that means that you can now be deleted. Uh, these can be deleted. And we can stick in one that is actually in the right spot, hopefully. There. That's the spot we wanted in. Then we need to get all the stuff over there. You know what? It might actually be easier to just grab it all. Uh, damn it! I just lost one of those. Okay, fine. Um, get in the right spot. Thank you. We'll do... Uh, you, 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 and you. A hundred, uh, three thousand, a thousand, two thousand, and a hundred. And before we start requesting anything, let's make sure that we get it out here. Uh, and that's the space warpers, that's fine. Let's do you guys. Let's get those out. They are out. So clear reset you. And then it's you.
This one's almost done. This means we can start on the deterrent fuel rods. There. And I'll actually stick a hundred of you in there. Okay, what do we have left? Belts, I think. Yeah. Almost empty. Uh, let's stick 60 of you in there. Then I can grab these 50. And you can clear and reset. You can clear and reset. And you can clear and reset. So a hundred. Uh, why don't you have any in you? Are they still over here? No. Man, did I? I have a lot on me. That's why. Okay. So then. You can go away. And you can be local. Let's see, one, two, three, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we actually have enough of these, so we're not gonna demand these just now. We will remote demand these local storage. We will remote demand these local storage. Remote demand these local storage. Uh, we will come down to 500. Remote demand these local supply. Okay, and this will be local storage. And that's it. Now, uh, get some of you in there, get some of you in there. Okay, so you can go away, you can go away. Alrighty, so we'll stick you there. And finally, we can start sticking down some power. And I think we're gonna run a belt down to here. And then we'll stick in some power. And some sorters. There. I'm gonna have to jump start it, but that's fine. Um, power. I think like that. This is too close, I'm pretty sure. No, it's not. Power. This has to be too close, right? That's definitely too close. It's here. Not that. Logistics, like that, and then we can copy paste. Copy paste function is so nice with the sorters. There. There. 
there. Okay. That should get our power sort of sorted. Okay. Let's jump start it. And make sure that you get some power. Alrighty. We have power. We have 288 megawatts of power from that ring. That seems fine to me. Okay, so... Then it's the launchers. And the launchers will go... Will we set them around the equator? And we will just make a big blob. It annoys me that I'll have to pave over some resources if I set it along the equator. So I think we'll make a big blob here. Yeah. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna make it in a spiral form thingy thingy thing. Uh, we have 150 of these on us. Yeah. Now, where is? Okay. Uh, do we want to build them like this? I think we do. But I want. So, there isn't room for the things. You know what? We'll clear and reset that. And we'll do small carrier rockets. Okay. And here, we'll bring our small carrier rockets out. To here, Dyson Sphere. Look how big these things are, man. You can actually build on top of the. That's a bit weird. Uh, so we'll set one there. And I think we're going to need. Order or a splitter there, and then go in like that. Come over there. Uh, okay. Why won't you don't do it right there? Let's try something a little bit different. Let's stick it up here. Was that on the... no. 
Dyson Sphere. Oh, I want it. Screw it, we'll build down here. And then we'll build there. Leave a bit of room, that's fine. And... You. Get in there. Let's see if this works. It does! Yay! Okay. And then we can do this all the way around. Let's see how many we'll get in. So we'll need a splitter up here as well. So that we can run down and feed them. Okay. Uh, let's see. Then we need power, of course. And one power coal can feed both of them. Okay. This seems okay to me. This seems okay to me. All right, so let me set up some of these and then I'll be back. Okay, this is gonna take a long time and I don't have that time today uh, to set all of this up, but so far I've set up 42 launchers. And I think it looks pretty cool. I think it looks pretty cool. And we'll be setting up more uh, I did cop cover over a copper vein up here, and we'll probably be covering over a bunch of other veins as well. That's just the way it's going to have to be. So, in order to start launching, we need to set up a Dyson Sphere. And I think I want to add a new layer. Uh... The orbit inclination is going to be zero. And then we'll set this over here. We'll turn off run game. And the orbit radius. So. Let's see. Other layers. Uh, wait, cancel that. Let's show this layer. Okay, but can't I delete that layer somehow? Because I don't want it. Remove. Mm, I guess I can't. Okay. Well... Okay, so now I can make a build plan. So we'll use this layer that they already have set up and we'll make our own build plan. But what's this? Geodesic? Uh, I want... Grid. So I can... then... do something like this? I can, okay. Let's remove that. Alright, so we'll start here. And I think what I want to do... I know it's too far apart, okay. But that's not possible. So... Let's see, there are five... in here. So, mm, that kind of ruined my, ruins my plan. Uh, right, no, can we do something like this? And then 
Phil? Is this Phil? Who plans shell? Okay. Is it? I think it's. T maybe it's too big. Let's try doing this. We then fill that. Is it too big, I wonder? Let's try going up here. I don't see a fill thing. Shell too large. So it is too big. All right, uh, let's remove everything. So I think we'll start with this layer here, and what can we do? Can we do something like this, maybe? Yes, we can. Okay. So that, that means that we can do something like this. can do this all the way around. Okay. That seems reasonable to me. Not very original, is it? But uh, it's the first time I build a Dyson Sphere, so... I think I'm... This is the practice sphere. Practice sphere. Uh, there, 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 there. And like that. And like that. Okay, we're almost there. There we have it. Then we just need to fill in all of these. Oh, oh, we don't actually need the... Okay. So if I remove these, then that's okay, it seems like. Yeah. Okay. So, remove you. There are more that need to be removed. I don't think so. Yes, you. I don't think there are any more nodes right on the line. Okay. So, that means that we can fill you. You, you. You, 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 you. Uh, there's one. So, okay. So that's going to be our initial Dyson thing. Do we need to save it? You have finished the Dyson shell planning. Okay. Once nodes and frames are done construction, the Dyson shell will put solar sails to use automatically. Each solar sails provide one cell point, and you can click the shell to view the total number of cell points required. Okay. And you can click... 
shell to view the total number of sales required. I don't see that. Uh. Ah, there, notes in total 36. Okay. All right. Well, and these are now okay before they were blinking that they couldn't do anything. Let's see, what is our power consumption right now? 334. Okay. So let's do remote demand. And... We should start seeing them shoot soon. Let's uh, pull out here. So we have ships coming in here. And ships going out there. It's Mars 2 that we're getting them from. So the first ones, the first about three ships are on their way. Looks like there's one more on the way. Maybe. Nope. That was... Not for us. Man, I do love all the ships going around. You can see them all the way over at Ayurveda's as well. It's just awesome. Where is Mars 2? Where are our ships? Here they come. Here they come. Pretty impressive, impressive that each of those can carry a full... Okay, here we go, here we go! First launches, first launches! Poo! Nice! And look at that! Oh man, this is cool. This is so cool. And they just keep coming. Let's... Look at... Man! Man, I love this game. Right, where is our star? This is going to be a little bright. Let's see if they start building a node. Look at them all going. Man. <laughs> Man, I love it. It is so cool. It is so cool. Oh, look. I think there's something up there. Let's slow down a bit. There is definitely a node being built there.
Oh, man. I can't believe it. We are actually building a Dyson Sphere. Now we just need to launch some solar sails as well. Man, this is cool. Look at it. All the rockets coming in to build there. And they're building over there as well. Look at that! Just look at that! There's another one. Is there more? No, it looks like we're doing two at the moment. But that's okay. Man, this thing is cool. Good God, this thing is awesome. Look at all those rockets coming in. They're coming from over there. Over there. Look! All those rockets on their way. God, I love this game. Let's head back. So I think Mass 3 is going to be more or less pure, purely rocket launcher planet. We might not even bother with any of its ore just to cover the darn planet in in launchers because we need a lot of launchers even though it feels like they're coming at a pretty good rate uh, it's like a steady stream it's a steady stream that's coming Yeah, I like it. This is so cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know I keep saying it, but it is. Just look at him go, man. Just like a steady stream of rockets taken off. And with the next ring, it's going to be even more. And with the next and the next. It is awesome. Let's click on this node so structure point 350 of 790 I guess 53 and this is how many rockets are inbound would be my guess So there's 
90 rockets inbound there, 15 inbound there, none there, none there. Thought we were already ha more than halfway on this one. So that's not too bad. Okay. But we do need to launch more rockets. So we're gonna go like right, they're coming from this point. That's where Mars 3 is. Looks pretty neat. It looks pretty neat. Four eighty. What are you at? Seventy-one. I would definitely need more rockets launching. But I'll be setting that up. In between episodes, I think, because to be honest, it takes a long time to set this up. A hell of a long time. Oh, and we are low on power. Oops. So Consumption demands 756 megawatts. So we might do another power ring out here. Something like here. Just go all the way around. But what we also have to remember is that now that we actually have the thing, the Dyson Sphere, we could start preparing for uh, the energy exchange, or, or the... Um, artificial star here with the ray receivers uh, let's see is the Dyson sphere actually yeah it's generating a little bit it's generating a little bit just from the frame it's generating some power so that's pretty nice that's pretty nice. Very, very cool indeed. Very, very cool indeed. So yeah, we'll uh, let them continue building this. And they can't start filling until all of the nodes around one is are, are built, so it'll take a little while before our, we can actually launch some solar panels that or solar sails that'll attach 